Hello everybody and this video comes from in Cornwall and can you see this picture here? I was near a village where they were talking about a bypass that should go through the village. So today, day six of our reading, we're going to have a look at reading some reasons for or against why a bypass might be needed. But first we need to think about what is a bypass? So there are two or three reasons. We're going to be using the first reason, a route that goes around a city or other congested area. So we find this in Doncaster villages and other areas where there's lots of traffic going through a village. It's decided that perhaps there should be a road made around that village, a bypass. So what could be the reasons for or against a bypass? Let's read. Well, first of all, the main road running through the village means it has a big traffic problem. A bypass is planned and some people are pleased, some are not. So let's see what the farmer would say. The farmer might say, I'm not very happy about the bypass because it means I'll lose farmland. The person who lives on the main road might say, I live on the main road, so pollution is awful. I'm all for the bypass. But what about other people? Heavy traffic has caused cracks in the walls of our house. We need a bypass so that cracks don't get any worse. Or don't get worse is what this person said. I can't park anywhere along the main road. A bypass would cut down the traffic so it's easier to park. Yes, and it can get very annoying when you go out and you actually can't park anywhere. So what about the shopkeeper? I own a shop, therefore I will lose business if the bypass is built. Mm, I never thought of that. It's a good reason. Oh, what about the doctor? There are too many crashes in the village. Drivers get impatient because the roads are so full of traffic. We need a bypass to stop all these accidents. And somebody's view might be, we'll fight the bypass because this area is rich in wildlife. It has one of the few woodlands left. And we do often argue that we shouldn't really be cutting down all the trees and removing areas for wildlife. But what about the principal or head of a school? Heavy traffic runs past my school. The children are therefore at risk when they cross the road. Now that's quite a number of reasons there and you can actually rewind the video and read through those reasons again. When you do so, look particularly for the connectives, the words that link the idea with the reason. So the cause is going to be the bypass for you expressing an opinion. And after that connective, you're going to be adding, why do I think this? Very important for entry-level English when you look at entry level two to three and you have to express an opinion. So we're going to actually finish with a video to have a look at how sentences are put together. So let's quickly rewind that video to the beginning and have a look at how that works. So first of all, we're going to rewind and look at that meaning. So we're looking at the meaning of the bypass, a route that goes around a city or another area that's congested, that has lots of traffic. Also remember that when we're looking at the sentences, these have been taken from the opinions expressed earlier about having that bypass. And I'm now going to show you how we divide them into simple sentences and adding a connective actually allows you to make a compound sentence and a sentence that shows cause and effect. Are you ready? Let's begin. So, because, do you remember the old farmer? 
he said about this bypass. I'm not very happy about the bypass. Simple sentence. It means I'll lose farmland. Simple sentence. User connected because, and he actually said, I'm not very happy about the bypass because it means I'll lose farmland. And what about the person living there? In the first simple sentence, I live on the main road. Pollution is awful. And put those two sentences together with the connective. So, I live on the main road. So, pollution is awful. You might also say, therefore. I live on the main road. Therefore, pollution is awful. <gasps> Here's the shopkeeper. I own a shop. In the second sentence, I will lose business if the bypass is built. And your connective, therefore, leads you to say, I own a shop. Therefore, I will lose business if the bypass is built. What about that family? Our houses will be knocked down. They're on the land needed to build the bypass. Use the connective as. Our houses will be knocked down as they are on the land needed to build the bypass. And you might have used because instead of as there. And this time for day six, your game is all about can you choose the connective or two connectives that will link two of those sentences together. So when you're looking at the game, you've got the live link, the blue link below in the description for this video, you will find that there are two simple sentences, a selection of connectives, and you've got to decide which cause and effect connective should be used to put those sentences together to make an effective argument. So good luck with that and I'll see you when we look at day seven. Bye now.